to do with a little bit of a different player. You know, you're getting rolls to the rim, getting dunks, got a couple more rebounds there late than you had maybe in the first half. Was, was there something different about your mindset or was things just opening up for you? Uh, things just opening up, and it's also a mindset. I mean, like I said, uh, nobody wants to go home this time of year. It's, and it comes down to who don't want to go home more. And I think down the stretch, we came together as a unit. We just started making big plays all together, whether it's uh, Kata finding me for a younger Kata hitting the big shot or Diaz yeah, hitting the big shot. We came together and we decided to make big plays in order for us to help us win today. Thanks, man. You have 13 points, very efficient from the floor. I mean, how do you feel you, how do you assess the way you play today? Uh, I just went to my team, but they did a good job of finding me in the open area. You know, I couldn't have done it without them. Uh, it's Kata, D'Angelo, Mark, they just find me. And, and uh, my favorite spots under the bats, and I was able to get easy points today. And, uh, like I said, with them, they just do whatever they had to do to find and make big plays. What was interesting is the team you guys are facing next have five and a power four that's almost as big as you, and they play three small fours. I mean, you ready or understand the, the challenges lying ahead now? Yes, I feel like our coaches are going to do a great job preparing us for uh, Arizona. This isn't our first time playing Arizona in the tournament, and we kind of know what to expect, how they're going to play against us. So we just got to do our best to match their intensity uh, and how they come out on Saturday. Um, like I said, we got to do our best with the way we prepare for this game and continue from there. D'Angelo was great, obviously, with big-time shots from other guys on your team. Do you think sometimes he gets all the attention, including from opposing defenses? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's something that he's been having to do with the entire Big Ten season. Uh, teams are going to try to trap him, they're going to try to pressure him, try to make him feel uncomfortable. And I feel like he does a great job of finding other players as well. He calls, like I said, he calls for double teams and he does a great job of just finding players when they're wide open or making an extra pass or whatever he has to do. And uh, that's something that he's done all season long, honestly. You think it's an underrated part of his game? Everyone wants to about the scoring. Yeah, I mean, because like I said, he's a, he had a triple double this season. He's had 10 assists, I believe, a couple of times this season as well. He's a phenomenal passer, and he does a great job of just finding the open player. For a game like this, though, it was very important for people because they trap and whatnot. I mean, you see Shannon to be that ball carrier, that how quick he was, and how important was that for you guys getting the floor? It was important because, like you said, they were trapping almost all game. They were trapping off all ball strength and stuff like that, and to have that extra ball handler. But Shannon in the backcourt, I think it kind of released some of the pressure on him, and Shannon was able to do whatever he had to do in order to get the ball open and make the extra play. At one point, VCU, I think, got a 27-19 rebounding advantage, but it seemed like down the stretch, you guys were coming up with the offensive rebounds, keeping them off the offensive glass. You guys addressed that in the huddle? What, what yeah, changed? We addressed it actually at that time and in the huddle. I don't think we came out in the second half uh, as strong as we did down the stretch of the game, but we talked about it again in the huddle, and I think uh, during that time in the huddle, we made an emphasis on that we had to have every rebound down the stretch. And I think we did a great job of coming up with those big ones that we needed and keeping them off the glass down the stretch as well. Did it make a big difference for you personally when Cox fell out? Say it again. Did it make a big difference for you when, when uh, Cox fell out? Um, not really. I mean, uh, I think our guards did it. They went small at that point. Our guards did a phenomenal job of just uh, staying with their pressure and just trying to attack them the rest of the game. Thanks. <laughs>